What is going on YouTube? Examples TCG here coming at you with a brand new video and today I have received all of the stuff that I ordered from both eBay and on Amazon. So the stuff I ordered was the Pendant uh, Evolution Booster Box as well as three copies of the Machine Reactor Structure Deck as well as the three copies of the uh, Dino Mashers Fury Structure Deck as well. I won't be opening either of these two in a video because you guys have probably seen countless openings when this first came out so I won't bore you with uh, obviously the openings of these but in the future I will be bringing you guys deck profiles or budget builds um, with regards to those two particular decks in general. It's more than likely going to be a semi-budget deck, so I'm going to throw in cards I've already got that will work well with those two decks. But it will be a kind of budget build with regards to those particular structure decks, but I'll get into that when we make that particular video. So the stuff that I actually ordered from Amazon was, as I said, the Pendulum Evolution Booster Box, which is not what we're opening in today's video. But I just thought I'd let you know that I've received everything, so I have everything in preparation to get a few videos out for you as, alongside the stuff for my trading card game, which I'm hoping to bring you after the video today. So the other two bits, which are the two tins here, the Yugi tin and also the Kaiba tin, I actually bought in Toys R Us. I went into Toys R Us. And as soon as I walked in, they had a like a selection of uh, Pokemon cards. And I thought, oh, I haven't done a Pokemon opening in a while on my channel. So I picked up quite a few bits at that of that even. And then I walked around to where the other trading cards are in my Toys R Us. And I found these two tins. And I also found myself a Eevee playmat for the Pokemon card game. So I thought to myself, I know what I'm going to do. I'll buy an Eevee playmat and then I'll do Pokemon next month or next time. Not next month, sorry, but next time I purchase them. Um, bits and bobs of train card games i'll do pokemon then just to like break it up a little bit but in today's video we will be opening up the kaiba tin and then we'll probably end up opening up the yugi tin in the next video for po uh, not pokemon sorry Yu Gi Oh. Uh, but we are opening up the kaiba tin in today's video so bear me two seconds i'm just going to go and grab a knife from my kitchen which is about two steps away uh just so we can crack this bad boy open and we can go from there Alrighty guys, as I said, wasn't that long. Just grabbed a knife from my kitchen, which wasn't too far away. Um, so I haven't actually opened any of these tins uh, recently. I used to open tins quite a lot back when I first started playing or got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, but they kind of, I wouldn't, I don't want to say they've died down, uh, but I don't really see tins that much anymore when I'm out and about like shopping uh, for cards in particular. I see a lot of obviously structure decks and uh, special editions. I see the odd, um, the odd um, old stuff. I see a lot of obviously solo booster packs, but I never really see tins anymore. So when I saw these, I thought I have to pick them up. I haven't done a tin opening yet for or the actual Yu-Gi-Oh card game. I have the Pokemon, not for Yu-Gi-Oh. So I thought to myself, I'll pick up a Kyber tin and a Yu-Gi tin and we'll open them up on my channel. So let's crack this bad boy open here. So obviously you get all of the um, all of the promo cards, which I will go through in just a second. But Obelisk of Torment, in my opinion, was one of the best um, one of the best god cards in the original series. And then in the uh, tin itself, we get three packs of Mega Tin 2016 to open up. And obviously, the rest of the tin is empty. But it's nice to have a tin for card storage. So I'll just pop that on the floor for now. Um, so when I get round to it, sorry for the noise there. When I get round to it, I can obviously um, use that particular tin for storing some cards. But let's crack open the uh, the promo pack first. Because obviously we know we're getting hollows in this particular promo pack. I just can't, I didn't really look at the tin to know what hollows or promo cards I'm getting from this. Um, so obviously we've got Obelisk the Tormentor as we just saw. We get a blue eyes white dragon which is really cool. I like the fact they reprinted this. We get a blue uh, blue eyes spirit dragon. I don't know why I had so um, so much difficulty pronouncing that. A DDD Gust King Alexander. We get a Athia the Evil Empowering Dragon, and we get a Ghost Ogre of uh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Obviously, this was a secret in the past, so I'm fairly glad that they reprinted that as well. Uh, obviously, it means that the value of the Ghost Rare does go down. Not Ghost Rare, the Secret Rare does go down. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a nice reprint, so I'm not going to be complaining too much. But the best pre reprint that I like from this set is the Blue Eyes White Dragon. It just brings back uh, so many memories. I had to trade so much in the past. Like when it, the game first came out, I had to trade so much stuff just to get a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think I had to trade a deck box. I had to trade like two hollows and something, out, something else just to get 
a blue eyes white dragon and obviously that isn't that much but back in the day when like i only had one deck box and like hollows weren't the biggest thing that i could come by because i couldn't buy my own stuff it was a big deal to me but luckily enough uh we ended up getting the um the blue eyes white dragon from that trade in the end now we've got it reprinted so we have one of my favorite cards back in our hands once again so that kind of tells me that in the yugi uh, tin that we'll be opening in a future video we're more than likely going to get uh, dark magician in that but nevertheless let's go on to the first mega tin pack here so we get a super heavy samurai blowtorch humid winds performer pal camel lump jesus had hard hard pronunciation i don't even know what i'm saying today uh half unbreak a fight fright for factory despot number four our rare is a performer pal heli princess our uh, super rare is a beginning knight we get an ignoble knight reload as our ultra and then our secret rare is a clear wing synchro dragon which looks absolutely incredible i don't really know if anyone really uses this but the artwork on that is insane i really like the look of that card so that is that for the hollows and then that's the rest of our pack there as well so moving on to the second pack i probably won't go through the hollows uh, not the hollow sorry the comments as much as i did in the first pack there i just probably uh, breeze through them if there's anything like reprinted i'm like oh that's pretty cool i'll probably stop on it that way but i don't really want to make this opening too long um so let's crack open the second pack and see what we end up getting from this one as well so blow hopper slaughter Silver Claw, that's pretty cool. Lizard Draw. Uh, Samurai Drum. So our rare is a Performer Power Guitar Turtle. We get another Beginning Knight as our Super. Our um, Ultra, Ultra, yeah, Ultra, is a Lose One Turn. And then our uh, Secret is an Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. That is insane. I really like the look of that card as well. Again, I don't know how many people use that card, but I'm very, very happy that I got that. And then the rest of our pack, we get a DD Savant Keeper, which is quite a Kepler even, which is quite cool. I think that's one of the DD cards I never actually got. Um, actually, I might have got that. I'm not too sure. Um, but I think it's one of the DD cards I never really got, so that I never really played that particular deck. Yeah, okay, I wasn't really around when the deck was big, but when I was going to make it, when I was coming back into the game, I did buy the um, I did buy the starter deck or structure deck even. I don't even know if that was in there. I don't think it was. But nevertheless, let's move on to the next pack here. So, as I said, I'm not really going to go through any of the commons too much. Because you guys have probably seen a lot of them already. Backup rider there. DD Pandora. So, our rare is a Toon Dust Blader. A Buster Blader. Why did I say Dust Blader? Jesus Christ, it's been a long day. Our super is a DDD Duo Dawn King Kaliuga. Our ultra is a card that I can't read on the camera. So, it's a... Magispector Raccoon uh, Banabuku. And then our secret rare is an Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. That's pretty cool. So we get two Odd Eyes and also another, obviously, dragon as our secrets. And that is the end of that pack as well. So if I'm perfectly honest, guys, I'm pretty happy with the pulls I've got out of this particular box. I'm especially happy with the secret rares, but as you can see, everything is on screen right here that we've got with regards to the actual pulls. Let's move that one down so you can see it. Uh, the secret rares are probably the best highlight of this particular pack. We've got two beginning knights. I don't really know if they're any good, but we've got two of those. But uh, I'm overall, fairly happy with this particular opening. Um, obviously, I'm more happy about the fact that we've got a reprint of the blue eyes. And we've also um, got the ghost ogre and snow dragon as well. But nevertheless, guys, that's going to do it for this particular video today. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, rating, and subscribe to the channel for more trading card game content. Also, if you are into the game Destiny, please be sure to check out my link in the description down below, which will take you to my gaming channel, where I upload daily Destiny videos over there. But nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.